In this problem, we're going to prove this inequality. So first, let me mention that the left-hand side here is called the root mean square, which is also called the quadratic mean. And the right-hand side is called the geometric mean. So we're essentially proving that for positive numbers that are distinct, the root mean square or quadratic mean is greater than the geometric mean. Um, I should note that if A is equal to B and A and B are positive, you get an equality here. So it's not so interesting. That's why we're imposing this condition because this is the more interesting case. Before we prove this, we need to figure it out. So let's do some scratch work and basically work backwards and then we'll write our proof. So this is not the proof, this is just uh, us trying to figure out this inequality. So I'm gonna start by writing down what we have to show and just working backwards and seeing if we can manipulate things. So we're trying to show this is true, okay? So if we square both sides, uh, we would get this, one half a squared plus b squared, and that's greater than ab. Then we could multiply by two, so that would be a squared plus b squared, greater than two ab. Hmm, maybe we can subtract this, so that'll give us a squared minus two ab plus b squared greater than zero. And that's the same thing as a minus b quantity squared. And that's always true as long as a and b are different, which they are. So we can start our proof with this and then just basically work backwards. So let me show you. Proof. Now I, now I did that pretty quick, basically. You know, um, inequalities like this, when you're trying to figure out how to prove them, one strategy is you write down what you're trying to show and then just work backwards, manipulate it, and then we get to something like this which is always true, and then we're set. So note, a minus b squared is greater than zero, and this is since, you know, a is not equal to b. Okay, so we know that's true. Then, we know that this can be multiplied to a squared minus two ab, plus b squared greater than zero, right? You can multiply this out. This is the formula. Um, you can write it twice in FOIL, that works too. I memorize it, you square the first one, multiply these two and double them, and then square the last. Okay, we're trying to get to this, so let's work backwards. So basically, we're gonna retrace our steps in the scratch work backwards. So now we'll add the two ab to the other side. So a squared plus b squared is greater than two ab right, going from here to here. And then now um, we'll divide by two, right, going from here to here. This will be one half a squared plus b squared greater than ab. And everything here is positive, right, because a and b are positive. So then we just take the square root. And we're good, right? We've, we've, we've shown the inequality. We've shown that the, the root mean square is greater than the geometric mean, or that the quadratic mean is greater than the geometric mean whenever a, b are positive and distinct. And that completes the proof. Kind of a easy problem, but hopefully the one thing you get from this is that in order to figure the proof out, you know, clearly indicate that it's your scratch work, and then just work back, you know, start with what you're trying to prove, get to something that's true, and then in your proof, you're basically retracing your steps and, and you're working backwards. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.